Hey guys! The eighth season of Miss Diva Pageant completed its selection of top 20 finalists, and the finals will take place on February 22nd. The lucky finalists were chosen through various auditions around the country, and from this elite group, one will be crowned Miss Universe India 2020, who will represent India in the 2020 edition of Miss Universe, and the other one will be crowned Miss Supranational India 2020, who will represent the country in the 2020 edition of Miss Supranational. Former Miss Universe 2000, Lara Dutta, serves as the mentor for the contestants and she is responsible for finding the perfect representative who will revolutionize the definition of bold, beautiful, confident, dynamic, and compassionate. This is Lara's seventh year as a mentor, and so far, her track record as a mentor has been nothing but mediocre. Only two of her girls have placed in Miss Universe. Noyonita Love in 2014, and recently Vatika Singh in 2019. Let's hope she steps up to the plate this year and produce India's third Miss Universe. Associating with Miss Diva Pageant for the first time, the main sponsor is Leva, the fashion ingredient brand. Leva has redefined fashion with its fluid fabrics to create garments synonymous with comfort and freedom. Thus, the official title of the winner will be Leva Miss Diva 2020. My top 10 selection is based on the contestants' performance during the preliminary events in Mumbai, Delhi, and Bengaluru, social media postings on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Compared to past editions, this year's group of finalists proves to be tough and competitive and it is going to be very difficult to find the best of them all. Anyway, here are my top 10 favorites, beginning with number 10. At number 10, Avridi Chowdhury, 21, from Mumbai. At 5 feet 7 inches tall, Avriti is a student and model. Her interests include singing, reading, and watching TV. She describes herself as energetic, positive, honest, opinionated, passionate, and ambitious. She believes the pageants provide young women with a platform to showcase their talents, embrace their uniqueness, and voice their opinions on issues they're passionate about. Contrary to the rumor that she might be a snobbish person, Avriti would like to tell everybody that she is one of the sweetest and most caring person they could know. Her favorite quote is, your story may not have happy beginning, but that does not make you who you are. It is the rest of your story who you choose to be. At number nine, Malasha Kasha. At 18, Malasha is the youngest contestant this year. She's from Guwahati. At five feet seven inches tall, Malasha was the winner of Miss Northeast Diva a regional contest conducted by the Miss India organization, and as the winner of this regional contest, she automatically gets direct entry in the top 20. She describes herself as positive, fun-loving, extrovert person. She believes that the must-have qualities for women are self-love, self-confidence, self-respect, empathy to understand others, and determination to succeed in whatever she does. She cites her mother as the most influential person in her life. That's Malasha Kasha. At number eight, Shivangi Sharma. Shivangi is 20 and hails from Delhi. At five feet, five and a half inches tall, she is a student at Indira Gandhi National University. She was one of the five finalists who were selected during the audition in Mumbai. She's currently finishing her degree in English. She's a trained dancer, and her interests include singing, dancing, sketching, traveling, and exploring new places. She was Miss Uttarakhand 2017. She wishes someday to be an actress and a model. She says her biggest fear is to face people, and she overcomes it by facing people more. She's not afraid to fail, because failing is a chance to learn. At number seven, Arshina Sumbul, 21, from Jaipur. At five feet six inches tall, Arshina is a part-time model and attends Kanoria College in Jaipur. She describes herself as someone who loves to sit quietly in the corner and think about her life. She's also outgoing, friendly, and love to help others in need. She once rescued a tiny sparrow who had gotten stuck in a chewing gum by giving the bird some water, food, and shade before letting it fly back home. 
Her interests include dancing, acting, baking, art, and craft. One thing she would like to change in the world today is to eliminate the boundaries that people have created among themselves. Her favorite quote is, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. At number six, Neha Jaiswal. Neha is 23 and she comes from Pune. At five feet, six inches tall, Neha is an architect by profession, having graduated from the Ayodhyan School of Architecture in Jaipur. Her interests include sketching, playing the piano and keyboard, and travel. She describes herself as soft-hearted, focused, and optimistic individual who likes to dream big. She's also observant by nature and extremely compassionate towards animals. Someday, she wants to open a puppy daycare center. She believes that more people should be inclined to fight against climate change and to help conserve nature that gives us life. What sets her apart from the others? Her clarity of thought, her meticulous nature, and her kind conduct. She cites her mother as the most influential person in her life. And her favorite quote is, everything happens twice, first in your mind and then in reality. That's 10 to six, but before I continue, I need a coffee break. Ah. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done yet. At number five, Roshni Sharma. Roshni is 21 and comes from Mumbai. At five feet, six inches tall, she is a model and student of psychology. Her interests include sports, music, art, travel, human mind and behavior, and blogging. She describes herself as an ambivert, empathetic, helpful, confident, athletic, indomitable, and beautiful. She believes that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder and thinks that pageants should not only focus on beauty, but also to inspire the contestants to support and empower each other. She thinks that her wit and the fact that she's a level rugby player is what sets her apart from the other contestants. Her favorite quote is from the Buddha. The mind is everything. You become what you think. On February 6, Roshni won the Subodh Bajpai Miss Photogenic Award during the Leva Miss Diva 2020 Delhi preliminary event. I think the award is well-deserved. I mean, just look at that face. It should be on the cover of every major beauty and fashion magazine in the universe. My only criticism is that Roshni needs to improve her posture because sometimes she has the tendency to slouch. But other than that, she's amazing. At number four, Adeline Castellino. Adeline is 21 and she actually comes from Kuwait. Standing at five feet seven, Adeline is a model whose interests include bike riding, reading books, lifting, dancing, and character sketching. She attends St. Xavier College. She describes herself as an optimistic and opportunist who is always ready to take risks. She thinks that it is her vision and intuitive power that sets her apart from the other contestants. She believes that every woman must possess self-leadership, courage, and love, and she cites people who don't allow their mental or physical disabilities affect them as her biggest influence. Her biggest fear is ghosts, and her guilty pleasure is chocolate. Her favorite quote is, we need more smart villages than we need smart cities. Adeline has one of the most beautiful faces in the competition, but I would like for her to improve her speaking skills. At number three, Tanya Subramanian. Tanya is 23 and she comes from New Delhi. At five feet seven, Tanya is a student at Indira Gandhi Open National University, but I'm not quite sure what she's studying. Her bio posted at the India Times website is not substantial. She cites her interest as reading and working out and her favorite quote is from Oprah Winfrey. Passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. She describes herself as strong and has engaged in several humanitarian acts such as helping a cancer-stricken woman, feeding the hungry, rescuing and treating sick and wounded animals, teaching underprivileged children, and aiding the poor. Tanya is giving me a Sushmita Sen vibe. She believes that pageants have inspired women to dream and work towards becoming better visions of themselves every single day. Her biggest fear is losing someone dear to her, 
and her guilty pleasure is chocolate. At number two, and my choice as India's representative to Miss Supranational 2020 is Rushali Yadav. Rushali is 22 and comes from Mumbai. At five feet nine, Rushali is one of the tallest girls in the competition. She's a model and designer, having graduated from the National Institute of Fashion Technology in Raibareli. Her interests include socializing, designing, learning, bookmark collecting, and local meetups. She describes herself as free-spirited, independent, and a go-getter. If she could change something in the world today, it would be the people's perspective towards every gender, regardless of color, sex, or caste. And she thinks the pageants offer a platform that helps you in achieving your passion, lifestyle, and professional success. That's Rushali Yadav. And at number one, and my choice as India's representative to Miss Universe 2020 is Anisha Sharma. Anisha is 23 and comes from Nagpur. At nearly five feet six inches tall, Anisha is a lawyer and model. She describes her personality as versatile, audacious, and optimistic. She's quite a humanitarian, having distributed food to the underprivileged, blankets to homeless people, installing sanitary vending machines at girls' schools, and providing adequate academic facilities to young children. She believes that it is time for the world to work together to stop global violence and terrorism. She cites confidence, compassion, and resilience as three must-have qualities for every woman and cites her father as the most influential person in her life. Her favorite quote is, keep your eyes on the sky and feet on the ground. Lastly, Anisha is a lawyer who works at Bombay High Court in Nagpur. She is an ace orator having participated and won more than 80 national awards in debates. And since IMG, the owner of Miss Universe, prefers title holders who are good talkers, I am confident that Anisha possesses all the qualities that IMG is looking for. That's Anisha Sharma. There are actually three girls that almost made my top 10 list and I consider them as alternatives. These three girls are uh, Vaishnavi Ganesh. Vaishnavi is 18 years of age and she's one of the youngest contestants as well as one of the tallest at almost 5 feet 10. She comes from Bangalore and is currently student at Acharya Institute of Graduate Studies. She, by the way, was the winner of Leva Wildcard. Another girl is Farhat Firoza. Farhat is 24 and she comes from Chennai. At 5 feet 6, Farhat is a software engineer, model, and actress. Her main interest is acting. She describes herself simply as a disciplined person. One thing she would like to change in the world today is to fight for equal rights for minorities. Uh, the third girl that almost made my list is Lavanya Gunasekar. Lavanya is 24 and comes from Bangalore. At 5 feet 6, Lavanya is a doctor, model, dancer, and actress. Her interests include yoga and fitness, dancing, classical and western vocals, performing arts, and cinema. And she describes herself as a very strong-headed and independent woman. So those are the three girls that almost made my top 10 list, but would make great alternatives. And there you have it, my top 10 favorites for Leva Miss Diva 2020. Do you agree? Comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you the next time.